Hi everyone, I'm Connor Okuda along with Alex Rubinson and Shai Dweck. And this is Sixers Post Game Live. The Sixers defeated the Wizards 105 to 102 after a Jimmy Butler buzzer beater to cap off his 45 point night. And uh, our first story we have to talk about is, is the block by Joel Embiid on John Wall that that led to the Jimmy Butler game winner. What are your what are your thoughts on that? I mean Embiid is just such a great def- just, just such a great defender, has such great length. Um just uh, just a typical shot blocker and he comes up clutch. He's just such a clutch player, a clutch defender, and he's just able to make a great play on the ball. Yeah, and John Wall is uh, no easy man to block. He's one of the fastest guys, if not the fastest in the NBA. I mean, when he's going down the lane, not many can stop him. Just a great defensive play by one of the best rim protectors in the league. Yeah, and we we have to talk more about um, Jimmy Butler. I mean, he just hit cold-blooded shot after cold-blooded shot. At the end of the third, he he hit a shot with .1 seconds to go to tie the game. I I was in awe watching it on the monitor. What what were your thoughts? I mean, I? Abs- as you said, absolutely cold blooded, and he's a guy that's gonna make those shots. I mean, tonight I was just watching Bradley Beal versus Jimmy Butler. I mean, I mean, obviously Jimmy got the upper hand there, but um, it Beal was really kept keeping the Wizards in this game. I feel like an unsung hero for the Sixers tonight was T- was Tobias Harris as he as he come up as he came up with a rather quiet 20, 20 points on five on five of ten shooting. He he was I thought he was spectacular. Well, I mean, it's just so, so it might not be. I mean, obviously Butler had the big. Uh, performance of 45, but it's those other contributions to performance, like from Tobias Harris with the 20, that really can get you over the top, especially in a close game like this. Tobias Harris is just so good, especially when they needed him late. Yep, shot. I mean, Tobias is also a great player, but Sixers team um, just has a number of guys that can impact the game in so many different facets. Um, you know, Harris, Butler, and B. Simmons. I mean, not much the Wizards defense could do. Uh, a pl- a player on the Wizards side who came up clutch was was Otto Porter. Um he he had 30, 35, 35 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists. He he would have been the player of the game had it not been for Jimmy Butler's buzzer beater. Well, I think Shy, you really want to speak on this. Well, I think, you know, I mean Porter. He's had he's had a night that you know, not uh, not meant. I mean this is one of his great games. Um, I mean I think. I mean we haven't seen him play this well in a long time, especially being, especially if you're a Wizards fan. You know he's been a little disappointing. He's actually signed into a big deal, so this is a huge night for him. I mean yeah, just you know I mean uh, obviously. You know, the Wizards lost, but just some great contributions all around from Beal, from Porter. Just, you know, a very well-played game by both sides. I would would consider this game as the great, as one of the greatest games I have ever seen the Sixers play. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll send you to Sixers Outsiders with Tyrone Johnson and Crystal Rich.